everything from each of the individual bags into a huge bag so this bag is full to the max I have a bunch of stuff in here ranging from high-end to drugstore to hair products to everything the two special items that I am talking about are these two and they are for breast cancer awareness month this wallet I love it it was if you donated ten dollars to breast cancer awareness and it is huge it's like a clutch and I have all my stuff in here because this is my wallet. Next thing is this, which is a little charm bracelet. It reminds me so much of the Alex and Annie bracelets. And this was only for a $5 donation. And I've been wearing this a lot lately. As you guys can probably tell, I dyed my hair red. It is like a burgundy brownish red. And I honestly love it. It is the first time that I have fully dyed my hair. And I was really scared because I had never done it before. And I was just like, okay, let's do it. I was just, it was kind of like a spur of the moment for my birthday. And I was like, I'm turning 19, I need to do something different. So why not go for my favorite hair color that I've been wanting for so long. And it's my favorite color anyway, hence the red shirt. I had to get new shampoos because my shampoo that is made to my hair will rip off the red. It also was having a buy two get one free Redken shampoo and conditioner and every single product possible sale. So I went for it. And I got the Color Extend Magnetics shampoo. I got two shampoos and then I got one conditioner. And it is sulfate free and it says gentle color captivating care for color treated hair which is what I have now. So the next two items are something that you guys know that I love and treasure with all my heart, and yes, I am already showing you what it is. It is the Batiste Dry Shampoos. This one is my favorite one, which is the floral and flirty one, and I love this one, and I get it so much, and I ran out, and I was dying. I went like three months without it, and I was like, nope, I need to stock back up, because Ulta was having it buy one, get one 50% off sale, and I was like, yay! And I was like, wait, I just dyed my hair red. And I saw this one, which is brand new. And it says a hint of color vibrant and red. So this is really awesome because when you spray it, it kind of comes out reddish orange. It blends into my hair a lot better than the regular one, but I still got this one because this is my favorite. And I don't care if I have like a white cast in my hair. This is amazing. I love the scent. It's awesome. And I actually really like this one. And if I keep the red in my hair for a long time, I'll probably have to get another one of these, but I honestly love them and I am happy with this purchase. So next I'm going to go on to my drugstore purchases and then I'm going to finish up with my high end purchases. I got a Royal Blue Mascara and this is by Maybelline, it is a great lash uh, formula and it is a Royal Blue and this was actually $1.99 because Ulta was having a sale. This is actually about three weeks ago and I still haven't opened it and I really want to try it. And yeah, it was one that you which was awesome. Another drugstore purchase that I made was the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beauty Fire BB Cream in the color medium. You guys probably know that I use this every single day. This is my favorite face product because I don't normally wear foundation. I am not a fan of foundation. So for me, I just kind of put a BB cream on and I'm good to go. So I got another one of these because I'm running very low with the one I have right now. Next is another mascara. Ooh, you guys know I'm a mascara hoarder. Yeah. So this is the L'Oreal Miss Voluminous Manga Mascara. Everyone and their mothers have talked about this on YouTube. I just had to get it because I like mascaras and the packaging is really cute. And I love the L'Oreal mascaras, so I just had to go for it. And I have not tried it, obviously. It's still in the packaging, and I've had it in the packaging for like the past three weeks. I was gonna do a first impressions on it, but I feel like everyone did it, and then I'm just kind of like a loser that still hasn't done it, so. I don't know, I may do a first impression on it. Let me know if you guys want a first impression on it. You guys know mascara is my thing, so maybe I'll do it. 
I don't know. Next is a purchase I, I've actually been wanting to make for so long, but I've never brought myself to it because I've heard they're not super pigmented, but I just like the texture and they're so cute. And I just want to sit here and like press it and like play with it. I got the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in the color 50 Plum Wine. I have not used it yet. I did open it just for the texture of it though. I was just sitting here and I was like, it's so soft and cushiony. So uh, the color seems very pretty. I do have to try it on my face and uh, I do have tan skin. So we'll see how it looks and hopefully it shows up because the color seems really pretty. So, and it NYX was having this 50% off sale the other day and I kind of went crazy. I bought more NYX stuff, but I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Probably in my backpack somewhere, but I carry like 5,000 lip products in my backpack, so it's probably somewhere around there. And they had lip products and face products and everything, so I actually got a new blush for fall, and it is this one in the color Mocha. I really like it, and it's very subtle and pretty, and I'm not a huge fan of blush, but I just like how this one looks. It's subtle but it's good for fall. I'm obsessed with the soft matte lip creams from NYX, so I had to get two of them. Of course, my favorite color and then my new favorite color. Red is always my favorite color, and I had to get this one in Amsterdam. It is the prettiest color, and I actually wore it in my last video, which was my Get Ready With Me Sobo concert, so I'll actually link it right here. And you guys can see it, and it's such a pretty color, it lasted all night i did not reapply it was amazing and it's just so soft and it smells like cupcakes and just heaven and then i got this one which is one that i have been stalking and searching for for the past few months and it is nyx transylvania it is the prettiest color it is a very dark purple it's kind of black looking but i love dark lipsticks and i just I went for it. I was like, we're going for it. Then I got this NYX lipstick, which is in the color 558. I don't think it actually has like a full name. Um, nope. It's one of the extra creamy lipsticks and it's just this nude color, which is really pretty and it's a very good daily color. Like, yeah. Oh, the color is actually cocoa. My bad. Um, guys, I think I went a little bit crazy on the Maybelline color tattoos. I got three. Uh, I normally don't get three of anything, but I just had to do it because all the colors were pretty and I've been wanting more color tattoos. I got three color tattoos. I got this one, which is barely branded, just making sure. I did get barely branded, which is one of their most popular ones. And I've been wanting it for a really long time, so I was just like, eh, I'm going for it. Then I got this one, which is bold gold. And the color is really pretty, and I love gold eyeshadow, so I like that one. And then I got this one, which is from the new leather line. And it is, I guess, their new formula of the color tattoos. And it is in the color chocolate suede. And I actually have not touched this one in comparison to like these because I know the texture of these but I don't know if this one's different so I was thinking about doing like a first impressions on it so if you guys want to see that let me know down below. The only nail polish I actually bought at Ulta was this one and it is by Zoya. It is like this yellowish gold color with little gold flecks in it and the color is... is that really the color? Pee off? I guess Piaf is the name, P-I-A-F, Piaf. Now it is time for the high-end slash prestige makeup. Ooh. Well, this isn't makeup, but it's high-end, so we're just gonna go for it. I got the Purity Made Simple Cleanser by Philosophy. I got the Speckle Hydrating Moisturizing Under Makeup Primer, and yes, I did use this, so. I really like it. This feels like a moisturizer. So you put it on and it's just like rubbing a moisturizer onto your face. So I really like this one and I've actually been using it a lot lately. I got another primer. So I guess I'm just gonna talk about this one now. I got the new Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer 
and the pore minimizing one because Smashbox always has the best primers. You cannot go wrong with Smashbox primers. So now I have this one. So I actually got another product by Smashbox and it is the Be Legendary Long Wear Lip Lacquer in the color Rose Water. It is so pretty. I feel like I'm going for pinks, like, and I never go for pinks, but this is a pretty, like, kind of corally looking pink. It's so pretty and I love this packaging. Smashbox is doing well on it. And I like the applicator of it. It like, it's, it's weird looking, I don't even know. Now for Stila. Stila has really boosted up their packaging on their products. Good job, Stila. I got a Magnificent Metals lip gloss and it is in the color Pink Sapphire. When I saw this, it just reminds me of a princess. The packaging is so cute and sleek. The top has the new Stila logo with a silver top and then this is hearts, like engraved hearts in metal and it's gold. Next, I got something that I've actually really been wanting for a long time and it is one of the Too Faced Melted Lip Lacquers, I guess. That's what you call it. Liquified Long Wear Lipstick. And I got the one in Melted Candy. It is the prettiest color. It is kind of like a pinkish red. And I just, I like it so much. It lasts so long on your lips. It is incredible. The pigmentation, it's incredible. It is so opaque. It is amazing. I love it. I feel like I've said this is amazing and really so many times, but it is really amazing. And I got the Calvin Klein one liquid eyeliner marker and it is in the color 800 the drama and it is just your standard eyeliner pen in the Calvin Klein packaging. I really like this one because it reminds me of the Jordana Fabio liner. So. Time for Urban Decay which I kind of went crazy on and I bought a whole bunch of stuff from Urban Decay and there's more and I just can't find it so yeah. I bought a lot of Urban Decay stuff, guys. I'm sorry. I have another one of these in this nude color and I just can't find it. I really don't know where it is, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna show you the other one I have. I got the Long Wear Lip Pencil from Urban Decay. It's one of the 24-7 ones and it is in the color, it's in the color Deep. It looks like this and it's just a pretty nude color. Then I got one of the waterproof eye pencils in the color Rockstar. I got this one and I still have not worn it, but the color looks very pretty and I'm excited to wear it. I got this in the color Mushroom and it is the prettiest silver color. And I think this would look very pretty in the waterline. So this is the color. I got one of the Revolution lipsticks in the color Rapture. And it is this color. I love the packaging, by the way. Good job, Urban. You guys are doing amazing on your packaging. I guess this color is so pretty. Just, ugh, I love it. It's like a nudish mauve color. Super nice, awesome for fall, and very hydrating too. And then I got three eyeshadows. I got this one, which is faint. I wear this color in my crease practically every single day. I just kept the packaging so I can show it to you guys in a video. Midnight Cowboy Rides Again, and it's just a really pretty champagne-y, sparkly color. It's really nice, and I really like it in the inner corner. And then I have this one, which is Omen. It is a purple eyeshadow that I actually have not used at all yet. And I'm actually either planning to do a tutorial with it or give it away in my huge 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So that is actually it for the haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It was kind of long. I'm sorry about that, but I have not done a haul in so long. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys need any information on any of the products, tell me down below if you guys want me to do a first impressions or anything. Just let me know. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below because I'm super close to a thousand subscribers. Woo! Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.